In this super cool geometry problem, we've got this big rectangle, and it's got these two circles tightly packed inside it. And we don't know the circle's radii, but we know that this segment over here is 6, and that this segment down here is 7. And we need to find the area of the green region, which includes this larger region down here, and the smaller region up here. If you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. Let this point 01 be the center of the small circle, and let's draw the small circle's radius here, and we'll call it R1. Let's draw another radius here, and here. Next, we'll put this point 02 here at the center of the big circle. Let's draw a radius here, and let's call it R2. And we'll put another radius here, and here, and here. This angle down here is 90 degrees, and this angle up here is 90 degrees too. We've now got this straight line here that equals 2R2, and we can project it to here, and it turns out this side of the big rectangle is 2R2. Now, let's take a look at this small radius. We've got a right angle here, so we can project this R1 to here, and it turns out that the side of the big rectangle is R1 plus 7. We know that it also equals 2R2. That means we can take these two expressions and put an equal sign between them. And then we can take this plus 7 and move it to this side where it becomes minus 7. R1 equals 2R2 minus 7. We've got a very important finding, and that's great. Now, let's take this segment and project it onto here. And let's take this R1 and project it to here. And it is obvious that this little segment down here is R2 minus R1. And this angle is 90 degrees. So we've got this yellow right triangle here. And that allows us to use the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the sum of the squares of the shorter sides of a right triangle equals the square of its longer side. One of the shorter sides of the yellow triangle is 6, so let's take the square of 6. The other short side is R2 minus R1, so let's take the square of that. And this is the longer side, and it equals R2 plus R1, so we'll take the square of that too. Now, 6 squared is 36, and we can open up these brackets like this, and this part becomes this. Now, let's cancel out the identical stuff on either side of the equation. Next, we take this to the other side, and it becomes plus, and we add these two to get this. Finally, we divide everything by 4, and it turns out that R1 times R2 is 9. We already know that R1 equals 2R2 minus 7, so we can replace this R1 with that. Let's move this up a little bit because we need some space to work. We open up the bracket like this, and we move this 9 to the other side, and it becomes minus 9. We've got this quadratic equation, and it can be factorized into this, which means R2 is either 9 over 2 or minus 1. Hang on, we can't have a minus radius, so let's dump this and we end up with r2 equals 9 over 2. We've got 2 r2 here, so let's substitute it with 9 over 2. We do the math, and we find r1 equals 2. Excellent! We've got two great pieces of information. Let's start replacing r1s and r2s with numerical values. First, we do this part. Now, these r1s also become 2s, and this segment here is 8. And we've got a ton of stuff here, but we won't need any of it anymore, so let's just delete it. And we need to keep in mind that this 9 over 2 is the radius of the big circle. So let's put it over here. Now let's call the area of this semicircle area 2. And we can calculate area 2 like this. This top part is the area of a whole circle. But we only need half of it. So we divide it by 2. And we know r2 is 9 over 2. So let's take the square of that. And we get this and this. Let's keep this finding here. Now let's call the area of this tiny square area s. And now my son will help find the area of this square. Hello people, we can find the area of a square by multiplying its side lengths by itself. And the side length of this square is 2. So let's multiply 2 by 2 and we get 4. Thanks a lot, son. Let's keep this finding up here. Now we've got a circular sector here and we'll call its area, area 1. This is the formula for area 1. We know the radius is 2, so let's change this r1 squared to 2 squared, which equals 4. Now, this theta is the sector's angle, and we can see it here. As you know, we've got a square here, so this angle is a 90 degree angle, which means this angle must be 270 degrees. Let's change this theta to that, and let's do the math, and we find that area 1 equals 3 pi. Now, we'll call this green region's area, area G. Area S plus area 1 plus area 2 plus area G equals the area of this rectangle. We can put that as an equation like this. This area R is the rectangle's area, and it equals 8 times 9, which is 72. Next, area S is 4, so let's put that number here. Area 1 is 3 pi, so let's put that number here too. And area 2 is this weird thing that I don't want to read out, so let's just put that here as well. Now, we need to do some math to find the green area, but I did it all for you, and I got 68 minus 105 pi over 8. Very ugly number, right? 
but that's the answer to our problem. Okay people, we found the area that we needed to find. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you push the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to get more of these super cool geometry problems. Have a nice day and see you soon.